Hello, I'm Andrea. I'm the Assistant Regional Director at Metal in Southend. I think the important thing about the creative industries is the variety of jobs that people can get involved in. I don't think people realise how broad the sector is. It's anything from being an artist, to a dancer, to a musician, to working in theatre, to being an architect, to being a designer, to working in tech. And all of those have allied jobs that are attached to them. One of the joys about my job is that I can do it where I live, that I can do my job in my community. It's incredible, the creative ecology in this area. You don't have to go to London to do this stuff. In fact, the exciting stuff is happening right here. Hi, I'm Rhys Brimfield. I'm a producer, engineer and also a musician and I work here at SS2 Recording. The actual job itself involves you know, setting up microphones and recording audio and then using post-production techniques to mix and master as well. The reason for wanting to you know, become a recording engineer really was because I was a drummer. I studied music technology at college but I really found that I came into my own after college when I discovered the art of recording and, and done a lot of my own research and it very much becomes less technical and more about being a people person. A career in music is so much more than just being in a band so there's live events, marketing, graphics design, so many different areas that you can get involved with. I love my job uh, mainly because I get to be in the band every day even though I'm not actually in the band. Um, so I get to do the fun bit in my opinion which is actually work on the music and you know, work on the recordings, but perhaps not have to worry so much about all the other stuff that's involved with being in a band. Literally, once the recording's finished, I'm normally on to the next project. I think the music industry's changed such a lot with the birth of the internet. There's not so much emphasis on having to be in a big city. My aspirations are to work with great musicians every day and also hopefully make a bit of money along the way and be able to keep the lights on at the studio. That would be ideal as well. <laughs> My name's Sam, I'm a graphic designer and I live in Leon C. So as a child I was always doodling in maths class, I was always creating things, always on the artistic side. Graphic design was a perfect opportunity to take all those elements that I enjoyed, those playful elements, and then to put them into practice. I'd probably be doing this if I wasn't getting paid for it. I create things like posters, leaflets, business cards, website designs. So the qualities you need is a real passion for art and design. If you've got that foundation, then you'll go far in this industry. I'd really love to create my own brands that I believe in and put them in the real world. My name's Paige. I'm a project manager at Metal in Southend. I've been working on a project for S321. So uh, the part of the project that I'm involved with is called The Water Replies. Um, it's a poetry project. We're working with people from all across the coastline, collecting their experiences of living near water running poetry workshops, journaling workshops, and it's all gonna be part of an exhibition next year. I think a good place to start is knowing that you wanna work with people. So you've got to be sort of ready to talk to people from lots of different backgrounds, because you will work with artists, but you'll also work with people who don't know yet if they like art, and you can be that welcoming person. It's really good to be able to enjoy a job where every day is different, so be able to think on your feet and react to different situations, especially if you're working in events, which is a huge part of the arts, which gets a bit overlooked at school, I think, as a way of getting involved. When it comes to working with artists, artists are everywhere, especially near the seaside. It's got a great history of artists, musicians, writers being here. We've also got some really brilliant arts organisations to link up with. So the Old Waterworks has artist studios, Focal Point Gallery has, has great shows, Metal has loads of networking opportunities, so there's lots of ways to get involved. As London becomes a bit more unaffordable, people are looking for new places and new ways to make their artwork, and Southend's got a really exciting potential for that. There's something important that I want to say about the creative industries and creativity. It doesn't matter what 
job you go into, you are going to need creativity as a key skill set. With the increase in digitisation and automation of life, computers will be able to do far more of the jobs that we currently are doing. The one thing that you are going to need to survive in any sector is creativity, because it's the one thing that the robots can't do.